It's Monday, June 29th, and here's some of the news beyond the headlines. Tourists and residents in Athens formed long lines at ATMs over the weekend as fears of a money shortage mount. Greek banks could run out of cold hard cash in the coming days if the country defaults on its international loans. Prime Minister Alexis Tsipras announced banks would remain closed on Monday and the government will impose limits on the amount of money that can be withdrawn. The country risks defaulting on a $1.8 billion loan unless it receives new funds by June 30th. Turkish police broke up a gay pride celebration in Istanbul on Sunday. Water cannons and rubber bullets were used to disperse the crowd as hundreds ran for cover. Organizers of the march said permission had not been given to assemble during the Islamic holy month of Ramadan. The parade is held annually in Istanbul, and some say it's the largest gay pride event in the Muslim world. Venezuela's ruling Socialist Party has held primaries ahead of a December parliamentary election. It won't be an easy campaign for the candidates. President Nicolas Maduro's falling approval ratings and a weak economy means his party is widely expected to lose important seats. Venezuela suffers from high inflation and a shortage of basic goods. That's eroding the socialists' traditional base of support among low-income residents. Sao Paulo has banned the French delicacy foie gras from its restaurants. Lawmakers in Brazil's largest city voted to end the production and sale of the pate, which is made from the fatty liver of force-fed ducks and geese. Animal rights advocates hailed the move, while some of the city's top chefs said it could hurt their businesses. Check out the Vice News YouTube channel for more original reporting and documentaries from around the world. The point of the Rapid Reaction Force is so that the Lithuanians can deal with any potential separatist movements early on. This is not what happened in Ukraine. The separatist movements were allowed to spiral out of control and turn into armed separatist movements that have led to a war in eastern Ukraine that's killed over 6,000 people. The Lithuanians are very uh, desperate to ensure that that doesn't happen in their country.